Biver being able to play himself a Tusk, who apparently gets a lot more farm than the a lot of Tusks that we see these days. Well, start things off with the bounty room battles, of course. Skitter and Biver trying to get in on this top one, but look at PPD. He's ready with a decay. There's no way NIP wants to try and give this one up, and they will grab it top. And they move in, Team Spirit, battling the skewer back. Biver's being caught and dragged back. A couple more hits, and he's gone. Are they going to give this to Fata? Oh, the reflection for Ace. Grabs up first blood already. You get Metamorphosis, and then the kill potential goes up substantially. So now you have the second part of the lane. Yeah, exactly. you got to segment the whole thing, segregate it all. The supports can battle it out over there. And the cores, you know, oh, Viver goes down. Another one. We're losing every single rain, lane right now if you're Team Spirit. And this is where the kind of, I'm bored as playing a support. Let's do some mind games. RMN's gone in to block a camp that Saxa was stacking, but he's put himself in the line of fire a little bit there. Luckily, Nine with a torrent will stop any kind of illusory orb advance, but PPD trapped in the shards. Quick soul rip and the meta's used, so Skitter has to bail away. Not under that much pressure as they still had the Phantom Strike to jump towards the Chen if need be. But Nine has come all the way up top and they're looking to actually fight around this. Like you said, with the level six on Kunkka, they've got Torrent X Mark in on top with the boat and they've already killed off Biver and NIP, but in exchange, they'll lose their TB. Ace falls, PPD and Sanks are still chasing for RMN, but he's duped through the trees. The fake little turnaround, but in comes Puck, blow them up and Chen falls flat on his face. Go towards a tier two or a Roshan, some kind of big objective with Ravage with RP ready, with meta going. You've got to fight into these as we'll watch PPD get taken down by three spirit members up top. But if you're walking into all of these ultis, it's super spooky as spirit because their initiation, it's pretty much Brew blinks in, finds the jump. Hello, a quick little boat over the top. Oh, he's not level six yet, but he has the shrine. Ace blocked away from it for a little bit there, thanks to the shards, but in comes Saxa. Quick skewer, Nine and Biver, Snowball's there. They've got the Ravage to throw in and 3-3 three, three. will oblige. Quick little kill, Biver's down and Nine. See you, buddy, Kunkka. He'll turn with the Torrent, but his life was forfeit before he even made a step forward. Not the ideal hero, I don't think you want down there. As mid lane, Nine does have a reaction TP from the Brew as he throws the boat in and the RP on top will catch a couple. But Saxa might have gone a little too far in as they pop the primal split. Nine dragged back by the shockwave, but a, big, a good cyclone. Sends the tide skyward, but in comes Ace. The Terrorblade with meta going. Fata needs to dodge away from this and will jaunt to the high ground. Barely surviving as they take down Biver. So far, one for nil. And Team Spirit, full retreat. 50 seconds. Meanwhile, in Terrorblade land, he's pushing a tier two on his own. Actually insane. Sandy done, 1,600 gold saved up. A bounty rune battle as PBD gets critted down by the PA. And nine versus the world of this bot tier two. He might be able to get out with the rum buff. Come on. Come on. I believe. Just denied to neutrals. Oh, it's going to be Aww. Oh, close enough. We should be closing in on the next item. Boots of travel for the puck. Dodging over the Yules. Just wants to have that, again, map control to shove out the waves and keep Team Spirit pressured back. Because the way they come back into this is, is through farming. The PA has Battle Fury now, which is a, a sign of of things to come. Posi positive sign of positive sure, things to come, sure. Tsunami? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I sound just as convinced as you are. She'll get there. We believe. Just has to hit some more creep. Get that DD rune. Hit some creeps. 3-3 oh, three, three will cut up towards top. And here comes the chokehold. The net closes Wait, in around have Spirit. She Battle Fury yet. You lied to me. She just completed it. Oh, uh, she had... Yeah. She has it, she has I mean, it. Having it and actually, oh, well, if they can get this kill, that'd be nice. Having it and, uh, and owning it are different. I, exactly. I agree. My bad. Sunder back. Ace, back to half HP. Do they have anything? Ooh, my mouse misclick. Saxa, are you ready to go in? He's tanky on this TB, but still should die. Aegis, yes. gone. And no blink on Magnus just yet, so we'll have to rely on this skewer to move forward, but a three-man coil. No, just the two. Skitter does dodge away, and they're going to try and move in as RMN turns with the help of the boat. Magnus down as Skitter jumps forward. 3-3 three, three has the Ravage still. He's holding it. He's waiting, biding his time to try and get into battle. And Saks are really the only one to fall so far. What are your thoughts on this Kunker build? Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll come back in a second. I think Biver is trying to set up here for the rest of his team. Spirit. No, they're not getting involved. They've all TP'd out. Or not. Kunkka's walked in, and the rest of NIP surround him. Bounty rune battle, NIP, easy peasy. So uh, after that, Radiance not the play, and Nine may have overstepped his bounds a little bit. I think he thought he was more evasive with that X marks the spot than he actually ended up being. Well, he'll throw the boat in for good measure, and the snowball save by some time, but there's the Ravage. 3-3 three, three catches two, and the rest of Team Spirit, they are waving goodbye to the Tusk and Kunkka. Biver and Nine 
dead for, for quite some time, actually. 40 seconds, 30 seconds on the clock. Uh, have you seen the... Oh, I, guess, I guess you have. The casual blight stun on Tide oh, like, yes. gets me every time. Oh, I'm just man. like, why does he have that? And oh, oh, I see. Skitter jumping in, solo RP, but he gets off his BKB, so the Snowball 4 will catch up Saxa. Good punch and a pickup there for Spirit. Fata in the back, looking for Conker, but it's Hester Joe who moves in and has the Primal Split. Throws it, Cyclone Tide, not going to go for that just yet, but Ace's BKB arrives, and he's moving forward. He's angry, and he wants kills, so Skitter bailing out with a blur as Hester Joe, his Earth Panda left high and dry, and NIP take control of the Roche Pit. Spirit expend everything for this fight, and, well, NIP, they are ready. Moving in, they want the Dream Quill. Fata has Blink, looking for the opening, but the rest of his team say, just chill out, Roshan's alive. We can take him instead. Team was not ready to cooperate, but like you said, Roche is up. They can get that if they really can. Or PPD. Taken out, Team Spirit, they're fighting around this pit. They know this is do or die. They need to stop NIP from taking Roche here because that's game over. So they'll move in and nine, he's got to bail out. A quick X mark onto the TB, but he's already fallen. The boat lands, he's still got Sunder to play around with. So Ace just no fear whatsoever. Walking in with 3-3, the Ravage does get dodged by Skitter's BKB, but it's a poor little RMN. A double kill for the TB, Skitter down, and I feel like the Gs might be coming. Two of them. Possibly. Who's who's back here? Fatu just one v twoing them. Biver popped out by the waning rift, and Hester Joe held in place. NIP looking very very good. 18 to 11. Goes the way of PPD and his lads. Pretty convincingly. Yeah, solid solid draft. It was a comfort for pretty much everyone. It was kind of questionable. He just purged it's off that iron shell. Yeah, all of a sudden, Earth Spirit Dark Sea Lane is not scary at all anymore. On top of the fairy fire, but that's NIP really putting their foot down and saying, nah, we're 2v3, but we are still gonna give as good as we take. And Biver wants to continue, move in. They know it's on cooldown, four seconds for a poison touch. The snowball back on to the Lich, but they've already claimed first blood. Skitter grabs it up. No, and they're gonna go with another stun again onto Tusk, but he dodges out the magic missile. He's still getting gone on. They will chase forward there. Biver with the Orb of Venom opens up RMN to get the final touch as bottom lane. Action on both sides of the map. The side lane's getting involved. Hester Joe falling there to the Oracle Arc Warden. Trial lanes is always that redundancy. Roll forward. We'll connect onto Saxa. And they'll try and move in onto 3-3. He's got himself Shadow Wave. No Grave. But the shards blocking Skitter out means PPD's rotation will take one out. Biver's gone and RMN has to bail away. Unfortunately for the Lich, no boots means he's dead. Quick fortune's end. And Saxa following forward. It's 3-3, a free kill. That move down bot is now top lane. Yeah, they get the boulder smash onto a couple there, but the snowball just allows them to turn so nicely. Get the kill, heal up, 3-3, had the one charges, still dies here, but Skitter's caught with the avalanche toss. Fata moving into top lane. Earth Spirit down, traded back for the Dazzle, but the tag team from Saxa comes up again. And poor little Venge, I mean, she is tanky with the raindrops in 16-1 she had in the pocket, tossed back into the creep wave. Fata avalanche yet again, the damage done, and Skitter's gone to the Eastern Jungle. Arc Warden has my distress recipe on Courier and they're only like a couple of hundred gold away from the gloves. There's yeah. top, they've moved towards Saxa. There's Tusk, such a nuisance in this top lane and 3-3 keeping them both reasonably healthy, but now they've been cut off. Skitter has shoved the Dazzle away, but Lich is getting 1v2. The Earth Spirit is trying to turn back and defeat Saxa Tusk and they finally do, but this is not a wholesome lane. This is absolutely a disaster for Team Spirit. They're fighting on the back foot and they're continually looking for any weakness they can, but they can't find any here. Raindrops and a couple of stick charges and Medusa making an appearance for the first time this game. Triple Wraith and Brown Boots for nine, but Fata's Avalanche buys him a little bit of time to keep on sprinting. Fate Edict over the top, the swap back and Fata being healed up by the Purifying Flames. He gets a kill before he loses his life, but they still claim him. A decent streak to snatch away and give money towards your Dusa. As Biver invading with Hester Joe, although Arc Warden has shown up. They've got the Fate Edict again. Level 2 Shadow Wave. Skitter overstepping his bounds. Venge down. And Earth Spirit had already been taken out by Ace. I start sieging this mid lane now that the Medusa has left. Yeah, I was, a, I was a pretty big fan of that Batrider ban that they pulled out. Because Dusa, you know, very similar to the kind of playstyle that DK has or used to have. As the swap onto PPD oh, catches yeah. the Oracle. We'll come back to that thought in a second, because NIP trying to fight around this. They even snowball save PPD's Oracle, and he's actually going to walk it off. 
kept on healing up. Saxa being saved. Oracle can't actually keep him alive, but the over-aggressive roll from Biver will mean Fata is there, looking for another one, and Ace has claimed some lives. Medusa, she will arrive with the Mystic Snake, but not looking good enough to take down Peter Pan. Damn, yeah, Fata just... Vangelusion, though. The scout out of what's happening, but hey, look. The scan from Radiant catches a glimpse of this Roshan attempt from Spirit. They're using this Vlad as quickly as they can, but I don't know if it's speedy enough, Tsunami. No, good read by NIP, actually. They didn't have any vision for this, but they know. And Biver, sentry, Skitter already dead as they jump into the back. The Roche Pit it is under the control of NIP. Team Spirit have already lost two, and Hester Joe sprinting out. Does heal himself up just enough to survive. But Nine is completely out of mana, and Fata, he knows, he wants to exploit this. The Shards perfectly block her retreat. Tag team's there, and Nine cleared up, not quite. That mana shield and the frost shield on top. Just, again, like I said, impressed that NIP had the read, and now they're going to take this tier one, and I'm surprised the Spirit are standing around to test this. Straight to the moon! Lich, destroyed by the Saxa Tusk. PPD is the trade back, and it looks like Saxa trapped in the trees will get taken down. Team Spirit back into the Roche pit. What are they up to now? They've lost their tier one and Fata straight back in. Look at that, he's just absolutely annihilated nine. That Medusa gone in the blink of an eye and Biver, the Spark Race, they're stacked up. They will do a bit of chip damage, but Team Spirit once again, retreat mode. Pushing you really need and they have so much map control who even needs the true sight on the Necro Creep and the Purge isn't really that useful. Oh man, Nine struggling to even handle the Tempest double. Biver definitely can't handle it. And Team Spirit, they're kind of being shredded here. Ace still has the Age of the Immortal, it will pop, but the Snowball in. They've caught Dusa, but not quite perfectly until Fata absolutely slams the door shut. The Chain Frost vacuum looking good though. Team Spirit maybe get a couple of consolation kills until PPD throws in the False Promise, says absolutely oh, bloody Ace. not. Ace does die. The Illusion's going to work, but Nine's buyback here. This needs to be shut down immediately. NIP around the Shrine. They are still 4v1ing Nine's Medusa, and this dieback, it could be an absolute disaster for Team Spirit. Lich dead for 15. Medusa is just respawning. I mean, if you get picks like that, you don't need to worry about the Aegis. Absolutely not. Straight up onto the ramp, reaching the high ground. Tier 3 being opened up on by Fata. With that Echo Saber on the Tiny. Even tossing an illusion in for good measure. Skitter swaps himself in there to bring the Oracle closer, but the Snowball back will buy time for NIP to tactically retreat. Nice Delta Split will stop the Chain Frost. The Magnetite is still going, but Ace is shredding them in the back lines. RMN's poor little Lich, found by another Tempest double, another Avalanche toss as Hester Joe bails back into the base. Team Spirit hold for now. Yeah, they've got plenty to burn. You got heals from the Dazzle, you got the Greaves, you got the toss back on the bench. And that's a die back for Skitter now, dead for 70. NIP back into a five versus four scenario. Tier three absolutely shredded. Biver rolls in, looking for the Dazzle, potentially kicking back. Vacuum and wall, they will connect, but nine. Absolutely destroyed by a Tempest double. Not even time to turn around with a Stone Gaze. It's on cooldown, and I think this might be it. GG's call, 2-0 victory for NIP in this best of three. And it looks simple.